morning from, from Ehrenberg. Today's going to be an exciting day. We're going to rip out the dash. Isn't that right, Badge? What's up? We're going to rip out the dash. It's going to be the most the exciting day. A fine unit today. <laughs> uh, just uh, in case anybody doesn't know, this could turn into a lot of work here. Uh, we didn't get very far yesterday. We? <laughs> What's this we part? Yeah, yeah. It rhymes with me. That's the we here. I was working on it yesterday. I didn't get very far. It's it's a little beyond my comfort zone. It's it's honestly way out of his comfort zone. It is. It's honestly confusing. But I got him onto an APU now. Right. We'll talk about that later. If anybody's a trucker, you know what that is. We're gonna try and fix this door. This is the door. This one is brand new. Yeah. I don't know. We have some doubts here. We got it down to 39 degrees, so we're gonna rip it all apart so it doesn't work now. <laughs> so yeah. Also, um, I just had uh, my friend take off. He does want to buy the bus. I have had a separate offer from someone. They say, whatever the price is, I'll give you $1,000 more. Honestly, I'm not looking to make money. I just want to cash out. So I might be selling it to my buddy in 60 days. This all depends on, well, timing wise, all depends on a friend of mine who would potentially help me. We're trying to work out different ideas um, and hopefully he's available. If not, like I said, I definitely need to get into something, uh, that is friendlier with my wallet. Um, because driving as much as I do, making as little as I make, having the funds getting smaller and smaller and smaller, I gotta make sure that my trajectory can continue on YouTube so I don't have to stop the videos. Um, so yeah, or downgrade to like a moped, which is still a possibility. We just made some progress, and by me, we, I mean, badge. <laughs> so that thing looks like a giant pain in the butt there. So if you could tell the uh, vehicle engineers some, uh, some wise words, what would you tell them? Oh, I got lots of them for board. <laughs> lots of, lots of four-letter words. Yeah. <laughs> Your covers off, Jack. <laughs> so this is what holds that right there is the heater core, right? That's the AC, that's the condenser. Oh, the condenser. That's where the AC comes through. Yeah. Okay. Um, Put your camera right in there where the light is. Okay. Okay. Now when you put the key on. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You put the AC on max there. Right? Yep. Yeah. You see what's happening, Jack? What's happening? We get nothing. Nothing. Nothing is happening. That door is supposed to close, right? Yep. So when you put it up to cold or to warm, it don't move. It's just moving there now, yeah, right? Yeah. Right? Yep. So then it moves down now, right? Yep. So you know what it is, right? What? See? Yeah. How long it takes? Yeah, it's vacuum. No, that's full. That's fully closed right there. Okay. Okay. And then that, what that does is when it's down like that, it goes through the heater. And when it comes through, when we put it up the other way, it comes up and forces the air. See, see what it's doing? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's taking forever to do it, huh? Right, that's the problem. So we're gonna, and you're right. I'm gonna have to believe you in this one. It is electric motor. Bad just having a deep moment down. of reflection right now. But the thing is, no, it can't go up. That's pretty hard. I'm gonna go with my first opinion. We'll put the electric switch in. The dampener door is nothing wrong with it, so it's gotta be the switch. It has to be. Because that switch is working all right. Alright, so now we're gonna take a look at the back part of these control switches. So we're just prying off the dash here. Look at this. This is like Christmas. 
and there's all snow on the ground. This here is a double USB connection. These are cigarette lighters. Weird. How many people use cigarette lighters? That's right, nobody. So what we're going to do is take the two wires and positive and negative is polarity sensitive. So you have to have positive and negative, right? We're going to make a little bigger hole and we're going to install two of these in his dash so he can charge his stuff because he's got cables all over the place. So that's what you need. These here are like eight bucks off Amazon. Can mm -hmm. you believe that? Yeah. Now, for the RV people, you got these in your uh, RV? These things fail. I've had two in my V light that's failed already. And I don't know what it is, but as you know, it's made in China and you cannot take it apart. So you have to replace the whole piece. You can't fix it. And I don't know what goes in them, but they they quit working. So you buy them for eight bucks off Amazon and put them in on your RV. There's usually two or three in there. So that's what we're doing after this. Yeah, and these, these ones uh, on Amazon, the, um, there's different colors. You can get red, green, or blue. I went with blue. Uh, the rest of my dash is green. However, the radio is blue. So I figured uh, that would match well with that. So we're going to get rid of the eject button. We're going to eject the eject button and uh, take out these two uh, power ports and replace it. As well as, we're still looking for the vacuum line fix on the back side. Well, I'll be damned. Oh, you didn't fix it, did you? Well, I figured oh out why. Oh, my God, Jack's fixed it. Look Wait. out, man. We're in trouble. Badge, I figured out why the top one wasn't working. Why? Oh. It wasn't plugged in. Oh, it wasn't plugged in. <laughs> Jeez, oh man. man, how difficult of a fix was that? Oh, not very difficult, you guys. Man, yeah, yeah. Man. So we're gonna pop these things out. Well, no wonder this thing doesn't work. It wasn't it wasn't plugged in. You're gonna make me do this, aren't you, Jack? It's fun. So we now do have, remember. We have the dash what did I off say now. Two days ago, I said, "Oh, you got everything fixed." Yeah. I no. said, you'll find out with something else. And sure enough, here we are. <laughs> well, it's funny because uh, the day I was driving back here, only after I left that uh, the part where there's an accident on the freeway, then the light happened to just go out conveniently. Okay. So the bus knew. It, it knew that it needed more help. So it was just, you know. Everybody knows. You get the dash off. You've shown, seen how we did it there, right? Tuck the screws out of here, and it's all clips. But... The headlight switch has got this plunger on it. Now there's two ways you can do it. You can put a little o-ring pick in there and take the handle off, or else you can put your hand up in behind the switch and you push down on the little button in there. So when you do that, you push it back in and that turns the switch off, right? And it'll stay in there. So now when you go and put the dash back on, you gotta push it down, but that's not a big deal. I just thought you know that because you'll be sitting there pulling that thing for hours and it won't come up. <laughs> and you're going to say, Jackson back did it and they didn't, they didn't have a problem doing it. Well, that's why because we pushed the pin in. Yeah, it is a little tricky. So stuff. now he did the dash, but you got to remember we got lots of miles, right? Mm -hmm. And lots of time. So these bulbs, they last for about five, six years and they burn out. The trick to this is is a dash to get it out. You take these uh, four bolts out that hold it here, because we got it out anyway, right? Mm -hmm. This is like a, a snowball effect. You take one thing out and start doing everything. The reason we took the dash panel right out was because we got to cut these off and put ends on them for the, for the USB plugs, right? The USB plugs is the way to go. Cigarette lighters are sort of you know, they put cigarette lighters in, and they don't put no ashtrays. Hmm, go figure that one. My dog just got two cigarette, cigarette light, well, not a PowerPoint and a cigarette lighter, and it has no ashtray. Hmm, that's kind of figure. Funny, but yeah, that's the way it is. Okay, so you take them out. Now, you got to be very careful, because you got that cable for the shifter, right? So you just pull this out. A little bit, and you just wiggle it out. And you gotta 
so. And then you can get into the dash balls, right? Now, which one did you say was out? The top. Around the uh, uh, 30 to 80 miles per hour. You had this for how many years now? Do you do one or all? All of them. So you take them like this and turn them. And you see how if they're colored, if they're black, they're probably no good. Look at that, Jax. Wow, you got all of them. Pretty damn close, eh? <laughs> Put the bulb in. Put them in. And screw them in. That's it, huh? Up. Look at this, Jax. We got lucky, man. Look at this. It even fits. We don't even have to drill it out. <laughs> Look at that. That's so cool. Something's got to switch here eventually, don't it? All this bad luck we got. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we had to pry these things out. Uh, small pain in the butt, but uh, basically you squeeze on the sides and then just kind of whack it out of there with a mallet or your hand or something. Okay. So, so how are we looking here? Look at that. Pretty sexy, eh? <laughs> We're boys looking. Oh boy, oh boy. We're in good shape. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? <laughs> now you see these? These are carbide burrs. These are very expensive. Oh wow. You see this with these are steel ones, except this one's aluminum run, right? Yep. But you take that. Okay. If I was a drill, where the hell would I be? So you gotta use a aluminum one though, right? Wow, that just chewed that thing right up, huh? Bingo, nice. baby! <laughs> Boom. We got four USB ports, right? Four USB ports. That's awesome. I don't Look think any other short bus that I know Nobody. of has four Nobody's got USB four. things like this. Nobody. Along with air conditioning, uh, cruise control, and you know all the other features you've been keeping track of. Okay, so now you know that uh, it was such a pain in the ass to get this off, right? Yep. So now what we're going to do is make our life really easy. We're going to take a marker. Let's see what color we got. Oh, purple! Your favorite color. We're going to take purple. And you're going to say, what the hell does he do that for? So when you're standing on your head putting them things on, you know, the positive goes on the purple one. <laughs> all these wires are live, so take your batteries, disconnect them and all that crap and... Yeah, right. We'll do it live. We'll just try not to burn everything down. And you just crimp them ends on there really tight so you don't come off. Just like so. Just like so. Now you remember this one we did, this one we didn't. So this has got, I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna gamble on this one. I'm gonna say the black is negative and the one with the yellow stripe is the power one, right? So, All right, so the other way how you can tell is uh, by looking at the previous uh, Snappery. It's the same way. It's, yeah, the one, uh, this one has a slight red on the part that's closest to you. So I'm gonna guess that the yellow wire uh oh, Jack's is positive. Oh shit, we're right again, Jack. <laughs> See, I'm learning things here. Remember, it's live. Don't touch them. You touch them, you're going to be in trouble. All hell will break loose if you touch the wires together. No, because you're going to blow the fuse and then you don't have the manual, so you won't know what fuse you blew. Ah. Right? That makes sense. That's why he's doing positive first. Good, Is that right? Is that where you're doing positive first? Yeah. So now to get them on, that's why you need the positives, right? Yep. So we know the blocks are negative and the ones with stripes are positive, right? So you make sure they're really on there good like so. So we got that done. Now we got to put the dash in. Put all that shit back on. <laughs> <laughs> See now, if we would have had this all decided when you first brought it the first time, how many times we had the dash off? We could have done just ripped the whole thing apart, but all that good. True. Ha no. However, we're doing it in stages. However, this wasn't out before. Yeah. But we did. Uh, it's a good. I actually am glad that it did go out because 
I didn't know that it was missing a cruise control and we added a cruise control. No, we might add to put that in to make complete the circuit too. Oh, really? So we probably killed a problem there. Yeah. Because they don't put cruise control in it, they won't put the bulb in it, right? And if there's no bulb then? Then it might not work. Just a check. You've turned it on and you start counting. 1,000, right? 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000. So 4,000 tells me that the glow plugs are warmed up, which the engine is, right? Now on a 7.3, it should get about 11 count when it's really cold. So wait, and you can do this. Everybody says you can't, but you can do it. You turn it on for 11 count, turn it back off, turn it back on for 11 count, turn it back off, turn it on for another 11 account, and it'll start, guaranteed. In cold weather? In cold weather. Okay, so this here is the USB, but it's lit up, right? But that's only an LED, so if you're worried about that killing it, just put a switch on it. But they're on all the time, which is not a bad thing. Charging. Look at that. We're on. Charging. That one works. Charging. And last one. And that's four more times charging than what you had <laughs> three hours ago. That's amazing. What a, what a great upgrade these things are. And again, I got them on Amazon. Uh, I don't know what search criteria I search for, but if you put in USB, let's see. Well, if you put in USB cigarette lighter, that's not gonna work. But if you put in USB marine plug, I think that'll get you to where you need to be. All right, update, dash is back where it belongs. Now we're working on the heater door actuator this is a thing that we're gonna replace okay you van dwellers this is the AC part of it now if you got to change your AC condenser you have to take this cover off this one bolt right here you just cut that out like that and then you just put a little bit of two-sided tape or uh, right stuff or something on there just to seal it because this little bolt it's gonna take you just about four and a half hours. So you just cut that out like that, and boom, you're out in an hour. So, and this is a drain for the AC, because it'll get moisture in it, so you make sure that's clear. And you'll see when you've got the air conditioning running, you'll see the water dripping out, that's normal. Okay? So if somebody says it's gonna take you 14 hours to change your AC condenser, just say no, Tell, just cut that bolt out. All right, so Badge was out taking a coffee break, and I got this thing back installed. Oh, crap, there he is. Coffee break? No, I'm sitting here watching you work. It's kind of funny. <laughs> so I'm just going to uh, put this bracket back on, the metal thing, and this. So uh, just use your imagination, and we'll get it on like that. All right, here's a moment of truth. Badge and I just discussed the fact that we weren't 100% certain it was, in fact, the the part that we replaced. So the only way to see if this thing is working is to warm up the engine, warm up the coolant once a uh, temperature gauge is in the middle and then turn the AC on and hope for the best. And we're back. Um, the memory card filled up so didn't <laughs> get to uh, show you where we last ended up. We have everything put back together had another lovely meal with uh, Badge and L. I think tomorrow it's going to be my turn. Uh, going to get some, yeah, going to get some stuff. And also I think we're going to do a, like a rig tour of, of what Badge has because he has a very interesting setup over there for off-grid, um, you know, setup and uh, all that. So I just want to say thanks again to Badge um, and L uh, for all the hospitality, all the fixes. I think this bus, there's nothing currently <laughs> lacking on the bus to fix. There's really, there's nothing else. The engine is perfect. The inside is perfect. The outside is perfect. It rides perfect, runs perfect, it's perfect. So uh, on that note, <laughs> some of you guys are probably wondering, why would you want to sell the bus? Why would you do that after so much hard work? And I will be, Things are still kind of in the planning process. So I have one of the best bus builders as a friend of mine. And uh, 
I will be revealing what we end up doing because there's a few ideas that we're tossing around. And I think it would be fun to, uh, to do something a little bit different. And that's all I will reveal for now. I know I've said some other possibilities before, but it's still it's up in the air. And if that's the case, I think what I'm going to try and do is just blast through some states. So, East Coast, I'm coming for you. Um, <laughs> I know meetups are hard, so if there is a weekend uh, and I'm close to a big city, perhaps I'll you know, send out a, a video last minute uh, or a day before or something like that. So... Otherwise, uh, yeah. If any, yeah. If anybody has some recommendations where you should go, throw it in the comments, and I will read it and I'll look into it. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.